What's up, freaks in the VIP? Today, I want to talk to you, as you can see in the title, about weigh-ins, weekly weigh-ins, weekly measuring of your body fat. Now, this should be done every single week, every Monday. If you happen to not be in on a Monday, it should just be your first day that you're in for that week. Really doesn't matter. It's just a self-weigh-in, self-body fat. The clipboard is there at the gym. Just hop on the scale, see your number. The thing you want to do with weigh-ins and body fat is to make it consistent. Make it consistent in the time that you're doing it, the meals you had before or after, whether it's before the workout or after the workout. It doesn't matter what, where, when you do it, as long as you're staying consistent. So if you're always doing it before the workout, one the next week, don't do it after your workout. There will be a difference. So always realize that your weigh-in, your number on the scale is always going to be plus or minus whatever, pound and a half, depending on if you just guzzled a, 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 a whole bottle of water right after a workout. So keep it consistent. Same type of clothes, same time of day, the same session of the day. So you're probably even better off. Say, say you normally weigh in at, at 5 a.m. on a Monday. But for some reason, you, you're not there on Monday at 5 a.m. You are you had to come in at 5 p.m. I'd suggest waiting till Tuesday when you come back in at 5 a.m. so you can keep it consistent. Don't even worry about that Monday weigh and Get it done on Tuesday so it's at least the same time. You want to keep all the parameters as distant as possible. The time of day, the clothes you're wearing, the food you're eating, literally the time of day, like before or after the session. Your hydration levels are the same. Not before or after different types of meals. So keep that consistent. All you do is hop on the scale. The clipboard is there. Write down your, your number on there. Then also get your body fat done. Grab the handles. There's a video. We just, I just reposted the video that we have. There's several videos. If you need help with that, the coach can help you with the body fat percentage. You just It takes a couple seconds. You put in your numbers, your age, your height, your weight, and bam. And it tells you your body fat. You can put that down. Again, these, these two are just small a small portion of what are are showing your results. Of course, during the six week challenge, knowing the if you're in the six week challenge, knowing your weight is important, and we do want to do it every single week. Now, I want to make that make that clear that you should be weighing in every single Monday, every week, whether you're in the six week challenge or not, whether there's a six week challenge going on or not. This should be just a habit. It should be part of your habit. Now, on, on the topic of habits and weight loss and measuring your results, these are just the variables that you that you can measure, like, like weighing and the body fat, which are, are great to do, but they are not the only thing. They are just the ones we can measure, especially for the challenge we have to do. But you should also be taking pictures of yourself every week, looking at yourself and visually seeing your, your transformation week by week and compare it every week. And again, this is regardless. All this that I'm talking about is regardless if there's a six-week challenge or not. Take a picture of yourself wearing the same or similar clothes, the same type fitting clothes, as much or as little clothing as you want. Don't get all freaky and go start posting that shit bucket. But you get the point. You should be consistent. Take a picture of yourself every week. Same time, same day. Make that consistent so you could see the visual. But even more than that, make all of this stuff a habit. Each day at the end of a day, especially at the end of the week, you should be doing weekly or first, sorry, daily and then weekly, monthly, quarterly, yearly, just reflections. Reflections on the end of the day. Look back on your day. How did I feel this day? What am I grateful for this day? What improvements did I make today? What can I improve on from today? What are my main goals for tomorrow? And this goes, we're talking about weight loss, but you can apply this to all freaking areas of your life. But let's just talk about weight loss for now and just your health and fitness journey. You should be journaling that every morning, every night, your progress, how you're feeling, how things are going, all of that. Should be getting you. Sh you should be journaling your progress about how you're just feeling that day. Rate that day. Did you have energy that day? Did you crash during that day? Did you need to take a nap? Did you need extra coffee? Whatever it is, and start learning your trends. Make this stuff a habit of journaling and writing shit down, getting dumping shit out of your freaking head first of all, and then give yourself a rating for your day over. Give yourself a rating on your fitness. Give yourself an overall rating for your day at the end of each day. And then the next morning, review that and start writing down, what are you grateful for that day? What are you going to get done that day? What are your top priorities for the day? What, what did you wake up feeling like? Like, think about how you're feeling, what your energy levels are, what your mood, your productivity, your energy levels at work, how much shit did you get done at work, how productive are you at work? And all this shit is going to relate to first your mindset, but of course then your body, your nutrition, your, your workouts. It all is connected together. Mind, body, business. Put it all together. 
give this stuff ratings. So weigh in each week, but also don't forget about all these other variables that are going on internally about how you're feeling, especially your energy, your mood. Huge is one is your your mood, and also even just your physical. Like, are, are you stiff? Are you sore? Where is sore? You, did you overdo something? Journal this stuff. Keep track of this stuff. Make this a habit. Make it a part of your every day. Weigh in every week on Monday. Keep it consistent. Body fat as often as you can. If it's not every week, body fat you could do once a month and you'd be good with body fat. You don't even need to do your body fat every week if you don't want to because it's going to be such a minimal amount in a week. So really body fat you could do every month and body fat's going to even have a, a larger fluctuation than, than the scale. The scale is going to be plus or minus a pound and a half. Body fat could be plus or minus three and a half percent at any time. So that could be a, a 7% swing, especially with a handheld, which is the quickest way to do it, but also not, not always going to be so accurate. Yes, Ruby started doing the picks. Post the picks as long as they're not those freaking naked ones I was talking about. Don't post those or whatever. Whatever works for you. Whatever's going to keep you consistent, I don't care. Do what you have to do, whatever it takes to make it happen, to keep yourself consistent, to keep yourself rolling. So make this shit a habit. Post Again, you already know about posting your meals, all that stuff. We're talking about your weigh-ins and just how you're feeling, your moods throughout the day, throughout the week. Journal this stuff. If you're not journaling, you need to journal. You need to be writing. I write all day, every day. First thing in the morning, I'm journaling. Last thing at night before I go to sleep, I'm freaking journaling. Middle of the day, thoughts come up, I'm journaling. Or putting notes in a, in a note thing on my phone if I don't have the actual physical journal with me. I'm talking about a physical journal, writing, pen to paper. Makes a big difference typing shit on some digital screen get out of the screen get into an actual journal if you don't have it send me a message I'll recommend you a couple of good ones that you can use that, that are, can keep you on track keep you on schedule keep you focused keep you motivated keep your laser beam focused on the direction you're going your health your fitness your goals you're looking for so if you have any questions comments put them down below make sure you do your self weigh-ins every single week your body fat percentage if you have the time every week or at least once a month Put them on the spreadsheet or put them on the, the clipboard there. The only time you need an official an official weigh-in is if you're in the six-week challenge. At the end of a six-week challenge, your final numbers need adult supervision. So the only problem is we're going to have to go out and find an adult to have supervise this. Once we find an adult to supervise all of this, then we can all do our weigh-ins. So let me know if you have any questions, comments. Put them down below. If you need help with anything, send me a message. Comment below. Whatever it is, whether it has to do what we're talking about this, anything with your health, your nutrition, your journaling, you need some ideas on exactly how to structure your journal, how to structure your day, let's talk about it. I will talk to you later. You are fucking awesome. No excuses.